What is up guys, Delboy here. Hope you guys are doing well. Just a quick prediction for a fight I am really interested in between Zolane Tete and Nanito Denair. This fight is actually a unification fight that takes place in the World Boxing Super Series, the Bantamweight Tournament. The fight goes down on the 27th of April and I've got to say, I'm really looking forward to it. I do believe this is an intriguing bout, to say the least. Let's briefly talk about both fighters, their stats and facts. So, we will start with the favourite, Zelane Tete. Zelane Tete has a record of 28 wins, 3 defeats, 0 draws. 21 of his 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Whereas Nanito Denaire... He has a record of 39 wins, 5 defeats, 0 draws, 25 of those 39 wins coming by way of knockout. Zelane Tete, he's a southpaw who is listed as 5 foot 9 with a 72 inch reach. Whereas the veteran Nanito Denaire, he's an orthodox fighter, he's listed as 5 foot 7 and a half with a 68 inch reach meaning Zelane Tete has a 4 inch reach advantage and a 1.5 inch height advantage. So Zelane Tete is the taller, longer man and that could play a factor in this fight. So how do I see this fight going? Well, before I get into that, I just want to note, from a betting perspective, Zelane Tete is the favourite. But I've got to be honest, from a value point of view, Denaire is a very attractive bet, in my opinion. So, as of right now, as of, as of when I make this video, on the 19th of April, Nanito Denaire has odds of 10 to 3, meaning if you put £100 down, it will return £433.33. That's obviously including your stake. But I believe that is really good value for this fight. I wouldn't make Nanito Denaire a 10 to 3 underdog to be honest with you and especially based on Tete's last performance or his last few performances in all honesty but the fight itself I think Zelane Tete he's going to be you know fighting out of that southpaw stance he's going to be trying to use that height and reach advantage and those quick feet Tete likes to pop that jab he likes to keep you on the outside and if he can do that he won't do much else if you're not forcing him to fight he will do the bare minimum to win rounds. He'll be popping that jab, popping that jab. He'll try and find that long left hand behind it. But he's not really going to, you know, um, take any unnecessary risks. He, he's going to box in the rhythm and he's going to try and outpoint you round after round after round. So it's down to his opponents to make the fights competitive and make him work. And basically, that's what Denaire has to do. He needs to try to stay close to Zelane Tete. He needs to rough Zelane Tete up, work that body, maintain a good pace, and make him fight. Because if Denaire just follows Tete around the ring, Tete will take advantage of that, and he will utilise that long jab, and like I said, he'll just outpoint you. So Denaire really needs to fight with good intensity early on. He needs to fight similar to how he fought against... Ryan Burnett in the last round of the World Boxing Super Series. Now, if you go back to that fight, yes, the ending was anticlimactic, but that was the best Nanito Denaire I've seen in quite some time. He was landing some good power shots to body and head. His timing seemed a lot better than in the past, and he looked big, fit and strong, and he applied good pressure. So, if he, if he fights in a similar style against Tete, I actually believe Denaire has a really good chance of pulling off the upset. Another thing to consider, Zelane Tete hasn't been in the ring with somebody as formidable as Nanito Denaire, to be quite honest. He's not been in there with somebody as experienced as Nanito Denaire, and on a pound-for-pound -pound sense, he's never been in there with somebody who hits as hard as Nanito Denaire. So listen, Going into this fight, Denaire's seen it, he's seen it all, he's been there, seen it, done it, he's got the t-shirt, he's the, he's the experienced guy. 
Tete's not seen anything like Denair to date, and he certainly hasn't felt that type of punching power. So again, I, I go back to the odds. I really believe 10 to 3 for Nanito Denair is great value, and I'm having some of that, trust me. But yeah, the fight itself is evenly matched, in my opinion. In recent months, or, or recent fights, I should say, I've not really been as impressed with Zelane Tete. He, he seems reluctant to go through the gears. He can box very well. He's got a great rhythm. He's got great feet, a good jab, good timing, respectable punching power. But to me, he looks like a guy who you could maybe pressure and get to break. I mean, in, in his last fight against Aloyan, Aloyan is like a pressure fighter. He's good on the inside. He can swarm. He can smother. And Tete kind of struggled with that style. And he looked uncomfortable. He never really got his timing down. And he never got his rhythm down. And I think Tete is one of those guys, if you get him out of his rhythm, he's very beatable. That's how I see Tete. If you can't get him out of his rhythm, then it's going to be a long night. It's whether Denaire, at his age can force a fight with Zelane Tete. If he is at the same level he was when he fought Burnett, I believe Denair pulls off the upset. I believe he knocks Zelane Tete out. But Denair is one of those guys now where he, he's he's got to the stage where he could get old overnight during any fight. And he is past his best already. So you have to consider that. But... I'm going I'm I'm talking about this from a betting perspective and also an, an official pick. I'm picking Denaire. I'm picking Denaire by knockout. I'm not sure when it comes, but I just see Nanita Denaire catching Tete with a big shot that he can't recover from. I am picking Denaire by knockout. I am going for the upset. Share your thoughts below. Peace.